Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, think about subscribing, hit that bell, hit the like button. That way you'll be uh, notified if, on future videos that I post. In today's video, what I want to show you is a, a battery box that I made with a 9 amp hour lithium biano battery. Uh, I think you'll like the build and uh, just wanted to show you the parts that I use for it. Not an actual build. Oh yeah, and by the way, you might want to stick around. I have something pretty cool I think you might like at the end. I'll show you. Let's get to the intro. Thanks. Alright, let's get started. This is the ammo box that I started with. I picked it up from Harbor Freight. Um, I'll show a picture later of the, sometime in this video, of the, uh, the actual box on, online. These run about $3.99 on sale. And basically, what's really nice about these is this section here is perfect for what you'll see later. The other nice thing is the sides are really straight. So basically, what the outside dimensions are just a little bit less than the inside. The inside are a little bit less than the outside. And the walls are pretty straight so that they... Uh, it, holds, it holds a little bit more. It's nothing major, but uh, some boxes really tail in at the bottoms. So that's what I started with. And this is what the box looks like now. Notice that I I bought this off of Amazon. It has uh I'll turn it on later. I don't know if we'll be able to see the lights, but it has a voltmeter in the middle. USB hookups. like a 12 so 12 volt cigarette lighter type uh, plug hole on this box I also took a wire hooked to my binding post and these binding posts I already had but I'll show you another set that I actually like better um, I'll show those in a picture also and where to get those then I put the Anderson power pole I really like the wire and the Anderson power pole like this better than what I did on my next box which I'll show you in that video and basically it was something like like this that has Anderson power poles which works good too I just there's less stress on the wire I think uh, from not having to bend over from the top unless you set the the battery sideways I also have the option to use this this is a PowerWorks PD8, you hook one side in from the box, and then you have seven power supplies here. I don't use it use it that much, but I, I always have it with me for the option. Usually it's in the box. Now in the box, I carry just so I don't lose it. This is the battery charger for the Biano battery. I have a 9 amp hour Biano, Biano battery, lithium. And this, and this is the, uh, the charger that charges that. And I keep that in the box, as I said, not to lose it. I also carry... This hooks up when I use my... Um, this hooks up to the binding post, and when I use this is for my um, the light and my uh, my um, manual adjustable tuner that I sometimes take so I just keep this in there so it's there it actually needs power to show some of the settings and for the light to work so I, I keep that in there too and then I have this this is the Biano battery 9 amp hour 
I've run this thing for one day. I tested it six hours. It was still at 13.1 volts. I ran anywhere from 50 to 100 watts out. Um, and I'd say probably 80 to 90 percent of that was listening also. So it wasn't pure just key down like uh, doing FT8 or anything like that. But it, it lasts quite a while. I would say this is probably, if you're going to run 100 watts, um, this is probably the smallest battery I would probably go with. Um, other people may have used smaller and they can always put that in the comments below. So I didn't put a switch on this one either. What I, what I chose to do on this one was just take and plug it in instead of putting a switch in. These, these are fuses. I had an extra set of wires to install, like a mobile um, FT8 857 or 891, whatever. So I just, I just cannibalized it, used that. I have short little leads here, short little lead here. This is the binding post here. So uh, I shouldn't lose any any amperage or voltage out of the battery at all. Let me turn this sideways. So here's the um, the back side. I don't know if you can. There, some of them are kind of deep. The middle ones, the voltmeter is not deep, and you can see these wires are bent here. Now, I just recently picked these up. This is uh, basically it's a right angle, so it doesn't so the wire won't stick out as far. It's a, a basically you just crimp it on just like regular like the other ones. Now there's the uh, the voltmeter. It looks like you can read it in the camera here. Like I, I don't know if I said this before, but I bought this off of Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. They've actually, I think, since all this stuff that's going on here in 2020, they've gone up like a lot of other things. But still pretty reasonable from Amazon. You can get all three parts. It comes with the the uh, the part that goes around it. And, and I used the faceplate here, the faceplate that goes around it, without these in it. And I marked all my holes. And I centered it on this little bump up that I showed you earlier. I use an inch and an eighth hole saw, and you know it's always good if you got a little piece of uh, of plastic or a piece of cardboard. I usually use a piece of cardboard, and I just drill a hole for it just to make sure the holes are the right size first before I drill into what I'm actually going to build. So inch and an eighth, and I spaced them out, and it came out really good. They, they don't have to be perfect; it'll still fit if you're just a you know a sixteenth off or something like that. But it'll, it, it's pretty easy to do. I, I wish I had one to build so I could actually show the build. <laughs> this is like a, a million other builds on the internet, on on the YouTube. Uh, just the way I happen to do mine. And I thought I'd share it with you guys. And, of course, you have to have the stickers. It makes the battery last longer, right? These, these were basically like a stock set of wires. I bought extra. They have, it actually says on the side, 25 amp fuses in them. Um, you can use any, any fuse setup with it's just an automotive fuse inside, the, the blade type. In my next build, if you uh, tune in for that one, make sure you hit that, uh, that subscribe button and, and hit the little bell and put all. So you get uh, my next video. My next video, I'll show you something that I use that's different. Um, I've tried it out. It seems to be working fine. But uh, just you might want to check that out. It beats fuses, maybe, if it, if it works. And it's been working fine. Usually you don't have a problem. Well, I hope you got something out of this. Um, that's why I do these videos, to help people that maybe haven't done something like this. And uh, it's not, I don't know everything. I don't, I'll tell you that right up front, but I'm fairly good at making DIY projects. Um, 
So if you got if you did find something that's usable for you, it's uh, worth your time today if you made it to the end here, hopefully. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and make sure you hit that bell so you do get the next video that I launch, that I put out and it will be on a 30 amp hour. I didn't use a biendal battery in this one. I've got another battery I'll tell you about in that build, but uh, pretty good setup and a pretty reasonable price for that one. So thanks for joining me today. This is Chuck from KK6USY Ham Radio Adventures. Appreciate you making it. Thank you. Okay, I promised you something at the end here, and I think you'll really like this. Uh, so without any further ado, check this out. Oh yeah, baby. The Smoking Ape t-shirt. Now if you want one of these t-shirts, you go to Jason from Ham Radio 2.0 and go to his uh, store and they're available online there. So, and also check out his, his channel. I'm sure you probably already have if you're here. And the same thing with the Smoking Ape. He does a lot of nice uh, videos on some tech work and stuff like that. A lot of things you might like. All right, thanks for joining. Thanks for being here. Everybody be safe. KK6USY, Ham Radio Adventures. Talk to you guys later.